11.24 on Christmas night. That's when the last ever train will depart Newcastle Station, according to the Transport Minister. But those opposed to the truncation are mobilising, planning rallies leading up to Boxing Day and beyond. We will never give up. They're the fighting words of those wanting to retain the rail service right into Newcastle. The community of the Hunter in Newcastle is not going to stand by while Premier Baird cripples Newcastle of its vital public transport and hands over the land for private interests to developers. Today a workshop was held to plan demonstrations including the rally for rail in Pacific Park this Sunday. Among the concerns, the Premier's recent comments about development along the rail corridor. I don't want to limit uh, the plans and the ideas and the opportunities that, that come forward. I, I will see uh, all of them. It's raised fresh speculation of a land grab. The public transport corridor is a large piece of land, very close to beautiful Newcastle Harbour, a developer's paradise, a developer's dream. A recently uncovered government traffic study by consultants GHD recommends abandoning plans for a bus interchange at Wickham due to serious disruptions to traffic on Stewart Avenue, while there's still no word on how long the city will have interim bus services. The Transport Minister today said the heavy rail line will be truncated from the 26th of December. Work will begin right away on the interchange at Wickham and construction of light rail is expected to start in late 2015 following planning approval. The line should be kept, the service should be kept and the plan for dry rail should be an expansion of the current service. Nowhere in the world are people cutting back vital public transport infrastructure. Jane Goldsmith, NBN News.